Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and we're embarking on a new and exciting journey. We're going to be talking about roots and radicals. Okay, here we go. Find all the square roots of one. Now, who ever heard of such a thing? But I'm going to tell you something that you didn't know that is written down here. I typed that especially for you. All positive real numbers have two square roots, not one. They have two. All positive real numbers have two square roots. A positive square root that's called the principal square root and a negative square root which doesn't have a special name. It's just a negative square root. Well, how does that happen? I'm going to have to make a separate video for that. So right now I want you to take my word for it. Let's go to the calculator. Okay, again, if you get a wabbit, you're going to have to hit the on key twice, probably. All right, now, I want to find the square root. So what I do is I find the x square button. We call two exponent squares. Find the x square button and then hit second x square and you get a square root sign. Okay, I'm going to put in the number 1. And I'm going to hit enter. The square root of 1 is 1. That is the square root, the positive square root of 1 is 1. This is how we say the positive square root. We say a square root with the number, and that gives us the principal square root. If I want a negative square root, I have to push the negative sign, and then the radical sign, the square root radical. That's what we call this sign right here. We call it a radical. Now I hit 1, and I hit Enter. And there is the other square root. One has two square roots, a positive one called the principal square root and a negative square root. So I'm going to come over here. Notice the blue letters say use a comma to separate the answer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say negative one, uh, comma, and one. And I'll check my answer. And it tells me I did a good job. Bravo. I'm going to hit clear. And I'm going to, going to come over here and hit clear key presses. All right. Let's go on. Here's a fraction. All right. We're going to find the, um, uh, the all the square roots. Find all the square roots of 36 over 25. Piece of cake. Second x square. Now, we have a fraction here. We're going to use parentheses. Parentheses. 36 divided by 25. Parentheses closed. And now I'm going to say math. Frac. Uh-oh. Okay. This doesn't work. There we go. I forgot something very important after my right parenthesis. Okay. I forgot that I now have to hit the right arrow key to get out from under the radical. Now I'm going to hit math frac. Enter. And there's my positive square root, 6 fifths. Now I have to find the negative square root because the instructions say find all the square roots. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me start over again. I'm going to say negative second x square. Now, let's see, I'm going to say, I'm going to try it without the parentheses. 36 divided by 25. Now, hit the right arrow key. 
that tells the calculator you're through taking a square root. You have to hit the right arrow key. Now hit math, enter, enter. And there you have the negative square root. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose the fraction uh, uh, tool. Now watch me. I'm Oh, I'm not on the calculator anymore. I am going to have to click in front of that, put a negative sign, and say, put a 6 up there, and put a 5 down here. And now I'm going to have to hit my right arrow key on the, on the, um, um, ha, on the keyboard of the, of the computer. Okay, the right arrow key on the keyboard of the computer to take me out of the fraction so I can push a comma. Now I'm going to push the fraction tool again and I'm going to say positive six fifths. Put a six up here and a five down here. Those are my two answers. And I'm going to check my answer. Nice work. All right. going to clear the calculator and then I'm going to clear the key presses and move on to another question. We don't have to do that. Oh yes we do. This says simplify. Notice the square root sign is already there. We're looking for only one of the square roots, the principal square root or the positive square root. They're the same thing. So say second x squared, 81, enter, and you find the square root, the positive square root of 81, which is 9. Okay. Clear and clear. Now 5 is the square root, the principal square root of 64. The negative square root of 361 and the negative square root of this guy. Let's do this. Need practice. Negative second x squared 81 divided by 25. Now don't forget the very, very important step, the right arrow key. Now we're going to math, frac, enter. And there's our answer, negative 9 fifths. Now, I'm going to try this. On the keyboard, I'm going to push the negative button or the dash button. Then I'm going to come over to the toolbox and I'm going to push the fraction tool. Yes, that works fine. That's so much easier than having to jump to the front of the fraction. Just put the negative sign in first. I'll put a 9 on the top and a 5 on the bottom and check my answer. Excellent! Okay, we're finding tricks to make life a little easier easier. Clear, clear. Move on to 8. 9. Ah, this one is going to be hard. All right, let's say second x square negative 64 and hit your right arrow key because you're done taking the square root. Now hit enter. And it says it's a non-real answer. That's true. You can't take the you cannot take the square root of a negative number in our number system. It just doesn't exist in our number system. And I'll be telling you why a little bit later. But you've just got to believe me for now. You can't take the square root of a negative number. So I'm going to quit clear rather and then clear. Now let's try, oh I'm going to mark this, the square root is not a real number. 
because that's what the calculator said. And we're right. Okay, now, number 10. Even that won't work. The negative outside can't talk to the negative inside. They can't cancel each other. You know that negative times negative is positive, but this square root radical is in the way. They can't get to each other. And order of operations says that before that negative sign can do anything, we have to take the square root of negative 64, and you know what will happen there. It won't be real. So, there we go. Nice work. 11, 12, cube roots. Let's do a cube root. You do this differently. Follow the arrow. Go to the math button and click math. Hello, math, there it is. Now, if you come down to number four here, you'll find the cube root. So I'm going to use the down arrow key. One, two, three, yeah. I'm down at four now, because I was already on one. And I'm going to say, enter. Notice that I'm now ready to enter the number 343. That's what I'm going to do. Three, four, three. And then the right arrow key, because I'm done taking the root. Now I hit enter. We've just taken the cube root. What that means is that 7 to the third power, which is 7 times 7 times 7, equals 343. Let's take a look at that. 7 times 7 times 7, enter, equals 343. Now. Let me show you how to take 7 to the third power. Type 7, and then the caret key right here, and then 3. That's 7 to the third power. Hit your right arrow key because you're done, and hit Enter. 343. They're all related. Wish it hadn't scrolled up like that. When you take the cube root of 343, you're finding out what is the number such that if I multiply it by itself three times, there's the three that you would multiply it by right there. If I multiply it by itself three times, I'll get the number underneath the radical. That's what we're looking for. The number 7, if you raise it to the third power, which is called cubing, will be the number 7. Check your answer. Yes, fantastic. This is called taking the cube root of 343. And we'll get 343 back if we cube 7. That's the relationship. Okay, clear and clear. Let's do 13. Oh no, what do you think will happen there? Actually, nothing at all. Let me clear and let me clear again. I'm going to go to math. I'm going to go down to four. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to say negative 8 and hit the right arrow key. Now, how much do you want to bet it'll say not real? Well, it won't because you can take the cube root of a negative number. The reason that that works is that you can say negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, enter and you'll get the number you started with. That's it for now. I'll be back soon.